this is a very simple test. What I'm going to do is pull out um, the bungee cord and you'll see the damage that it does. Every time you use a bungee cord of any length, any size, whatever, it's more or less a game of Russian roulette. Um, this is in slow-mo, but even that, you still don't see it. It's just so fast that this will recoil at over 60, anywhere up to 100 miles per hour. Um, and it's going to hit you because you are at the other end pulling it with your other hand. You can see the piece of polystyrene. This is solid polystyrene. The solid polystyrene is, is actually fairly hard. Um, you can see it now. I'm going to show you with um, a piece of rope. So if you're using what not some rope, this is 8mm uh, braided rope. Um, safe working load of 180 kilos. You can use it anywhere you like. It comes in any length. You can shorten it. You can do whatever you like with it. You can see to the right hand side the amount of tension I'm putting on it. I'm going to put some stretch on that rope as much as I can. Um, bearing in mind it's not a piece of elastic. So I'm stretching that out and I'm going to let go and you'll see the difference and it's a vast difference it's a massive difference um, in what happens when I let go of that rope you'll see it now just coming up and there we go and it just falls to the floor now that's the difference between rope and a piece of elastic as soon as you pull on a piece of elastic now here's the two together two of them together you still won't see that bungee. It's it's slow motion as as best as I can do with the. There you go. Rips chunks out of the polystyrene. And that's a solid polystyrene head, which is probably harder. Well, it's definitely harder. So there's there's the damage to the one with the rope, which is nothing, um, as you would expect, because the rope just fell to the floor. You've then got the. Um, in a second, I'll pick up or like this slow motion.